Hey, this is Matt from comicbook.com saying howdy. And uh, today we've actually got a cool little unboxing video for you. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dice Masters from WizKids. And so we're just going to go ahead and open up the box. This is actually a starter box, so it comes with everything you need to play with two to four players. Um, and there's actually some pretty good value here for what you get. So let's take a look. Of course, it is no shock to anybody. Well, maybe to you guys because you don't like follow my Facebook feed. Uh, but I'm a huge Donatello fan, so... <laughs> that's that's why I'm a tad biased. I like the other turtles. I really do. It's just Donatello makes machines. He makes machines. You can't beat machines. I'm just saying. That's, that's the whole thing, right? And even when... No, that's a spoiler. I don't want to say that. That's a comic book thing. But let's just say, even if he were to sort of die, he still because of machines still lives on. Just saying, boom. See any other, other turtles do that. Whatever, it's fine. So <laughs> today, we're gonna unbox this little guy, so let's go ahead and get to it. I feel like there should be some kind of soundtrack, music, or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and put that sucker there. Can you see it? Whoa, whoa. Go little right there. All right, so of course, instruction booklet, right? Uh, what's actually kind of cool here is that the other starter sets come with, like, in the manual, in this little guy, you would actually have like one example play mat, which you could then rip out and play right then if you needed to. What's cool about this one, it actually comes with one for all four turtles, which, and I'll take pictures of all these closer so you can actually see what they look like and everything like that. But what's cool, we got one for each and every single turtle. And we're gonna get to the one, my favorite, which I showed you first. <laughs> Cause why? Cause he's the best. Actually, I like Michelangelo's too, it's pretty cool. All right, so that's kind of neat, right? Little, I like bonuses like that. I like stuff like that. So, also, if you're gonna take a look here, all of those for Dice Masters uh, newbies, um, you're actually going to, instead of cards, which there are still cards in the game, but you're gonna primarily use dice, hence the name. So these are actually spots for all of your different character dice and other dice as well, but, but mostly for you to build up sets of characters later on. You can actually buy booster packs, which have two cards and two dice per Per bag so this is really cool to be able to start building those collections um, and you know that way you don't have to like go out and buy a fancy box you already got one so of course if you're gonna actually start throwing dice you need a dice bag so if for all of you RPG players you might already have your own dice bags in fact I know a couple of people who have like 10 but it doesn't matter this one actually comes with four right in the box and they are as you would expect themed after each and every turtle. What's cool about this set overall is that going through all the, like once we're gonna go through all the cards and everything, but just the designs overall, they kind of combine all the different time periods of turtles. So you have like the original comic versions. Um, in fact, the and we'll get to them here in a little bit, but the actual character cards themselves actually are based on the turtles that did not have individual colors. So they're all wearing the red. Right, which was kind of a bummer for me because I, <laughs> I prefer the the like colorized versions with like purple, orange, blue, and red. But you know, it's fine. It is what it is. I just I'm more partial to that probably because I grew up with the cartoon. That was like my first big exposure. But still, it's cool. And and the bags actually strike the nice balance because they have the original art, the comic art, but they still have the color down here, which is kind of cool. So of course we've got one for Leonardo. Michelangelo. Wait, no, I'm gonna save the best for last. <laughs> People are gonna get sick of that by the end of this. Raphael, and a piece to resistance. A Donatello. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I don't know what to do with myself. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get to some of the dice here. All right, um, we'll go ahead and start with the turtles themselves. And you actually get a boatload of dice in this box set. Like, this is actually a really good deal. So, of course, we're gonna have, let's just take them out, shall we? They actually all come in these neat little bags. What, what, look at that. So of course, we've got Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Donatello. 
Donatello? Yeah, I know. <laughs> write me hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, the weirdest thing in this set is that, like, it comes with all the characters you would assume, right? It comes with four, it comes with the four turtles, just one of each, like, no crazy, you know, not, it's not like the toys where it comes with, like, you know, five versions of Leonardo and Michelangelo where it's like, you know, uh, Ice Canyon Michelangelo, he's got, you know, ice picks and like all this crazy stuff or like space fairy Raphael. Like, it's none of that crap. It's just <laughs> plain and simple turtles. The one character though, there's one character that has two, that has doubles, but they're not the same. So Splinter has two character cards, but they're like completely different. Like they're, it's still Splinter though. It's, it's still Splinter, but they're completely different. So like one is kind of like more like the warrior and the other one is kind of like the sensei, right? I don't know why I had to do that, but that's what you kind of have to do. So it's weird because he has two like complete sets of character dice. It's, it's random that like they would pick to double him as opposed to just throwing in another of the like umpteen weird characters that the turtles have. So it was just kind of odd. Um, and plus, it's kind of funny because if we're looking at his die, suck. I said die. <laughs> we're looking at his dice. Uh, so here's his like kind of warrior one. That's kind of you know, it's got like a little little rat face on here. That's his, like his warrior one. And then he's got this, and I cannot. Where is it? This one. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. Here, let me scoot over. You can see it. But I get. I mean, I get it. I get what it's going for. It's like, you know, it's peace and zen and all that stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we have a couple other ones as well. So I don't know if you can tell, but this one is actually um, Rocksteady. And like I said, I'll get closer shots of them all so you can see them because I know it's kind of hard to make out the details. This one is Bebop. Color scheme kind of makes sense. This one is actually probably one of the cooler ones. It's a black and white color scheme, and it's Casey Jones. This one is Shredder, but in in like honor of the fact that like Krang has a new voice today, because that's kind of on the news. It would I have to do my Krang impression? So wait up, oh. <clears throat> Shredder, right, right. That's awesome, right? I could have gotten the gig. I know. Missed opportunity. I missed my calling. So here's Krang, which is, I don't know why I'm so partial to that character. He's this little squishy, gross, pink thing, whatever. So. All right, and then we've got uh, Baxter Stockman, which is cool. Uh, April O'Neil is a camera. I don't know if you can tell that from there. Like I said, I'll show you pictures. And then we've got the foot. Foot. And then we've got Mausers. And we got Fugitoid. Fugitoid. Yeah. So those are all the characters that come loaded in the set, which is actually a lot. There's a lot of characters there. And you can mix and match. It doesn't matter. If you want, you know, all villains versus all heroes, fine. If you want to split them up and have Shredder on the same team as Splinter, choose your Splinter since there's two. That's awesome. Um, Shredder. I can't help it. I can't help it. Anyway. So for those who have played Dice Masters before, because this set is kind of designed for two to four players right out of the box. Instead of, typically, you're only gonna get about eight of these sidekick die. So, in a regular kind of a smaller box set, like the Civil War one that we're also gonna do an unboxing of very soon. Um, so you're only gonna get like eight of those. In this set, you get a ton, because they want it to be, you know, you wanna play with more than two players. Um, so those are those, and those come in a nice little set there. And then these are going to be your action dice. Um, these correspond to the action cards that we're going to show you here in a little bit. And these are like, you know, uh, some of these have like global abilities, which either player can use, even if the opposing player has their, like, you don't have to have the corresponding character for a global ability. Global abilities are kind of something you can take advantage of, regardless of whether you have any or not. If it's on the board and you can pay that, you can use it. So again, some of the action cards have those. Um, you'll notice like burst effects, those correspond to those as well. 
and you can get double energy for these, um, just like character dice. So lots of cool options there. Now let's take a look at the cards. Don't you love that like new card like sound? It's the sound. It's not really smelling. I'm not really smelling it. It's kind of like a library. Okay, of course, the action cards are divided into colored categories. Self-explanatory. Um, and let's take a look at some of these. Now, you're probably not going to be able to read the abilities on these because of the text and the distance I am from the camera. But you can kind of get an idea of the art style, and then I'll take some really close-up pictures and you can see the abilities. So, of course, we got April O'Neil. And the reason for, for those who haven't played before, the reason for the number in that top left corner, um, that is you can choose whichever version of the character that you want to play. So there's going to be, typically there's going to be three versions of that character with different energy costs. So each one of those will come with different abilities. And it kind of, even if you want to play a character, if you want to play a character that you really like, but their ability doesn't really fit with the way you like to play the game. That's why this exists. So you can look at all the different character abilities and go, okay, I'd rather play that version of April O'Neil than this one because I like to have a ton of, def you know, I like to have a ton of blockers. I like to do defense first. I like to go all out and attack, you know, so um, it kind of opens that up so that way even if you wanted to play you know both of you want to play the same character you technically could because you can pick from different ones so it's kind of cool um and then also on these the art styles range all over the place so it'll go from old comic to <laughs> to animated series to like newer art there's none of the nickelodeon cartoon art on these and there's none of the movie art so it's all kind of pre it's all pre before that like it's all before that so there's none of that stuff in there um you know i'm sure if they release an expansion i'm sure we'll get movie verse stuff and we'll start getting some of those but um i'd really love the nickelodeon cartoon so i wouldn't mind seeing a set with that so that'd be kind of cool uh baxter stockman he also has i cannot I, my fingers sometimes <laughs> cannot do that all right and we got bebop and his are, him and uh, Shredder, theirs are extremely high. It's six, that means six energy to purchase one character die. Like, that's a lot, especially early on. Like, if you pick him, you kind of have to, like, just, you know, get comfortable with just looking at it and admiring it because it's going to be a couple turns before you can get him. Unless you really know what you're doing. Uh, of course, the next one we've got is Casey Jones. Right, and here we got Donatello. Like I said, you'll notice that it's the red um, bandanas and everything. That's the art they used for the core turtle character. So. But it is Donatello. Because I know I'm going to get someone that's like, there's Raphael. It's like, no, I, I know because that's why I thought it's fun. <laughs> Foot Clan. Right, pretty nice. Yeah, the other one. I have to, I don't know why I have to say it that way. It's just so, it's just, you know, machines. <laughs> and we got Krang with his suit, his exosuit. And then we got Leonardo. And then we got Michelangelo. And of course, you'll notice that like the there's subtitles underneath the names, you know, Party Dude, Michelangelo, and each one actually like each one of the versions of Michelangelo is actually labeled some different. So there's one that's Mikey, there's one that says Partey, and they all have different abilities. Some come blank. Some don't have like this one, Michelangelo, for instance. That's completely a blank. So you know, it's very low cost for that character. It's still four, but you know, you don't get like an inherent ability with that card. You can get other stuff, but you know. Uh, Mausers, pretty cool. Raphael, cool but rude. We got Rocksteady, Rough and Tumble. We got Shredder. <laughs> I have stopped doing it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, Splinter number one. This is Peaceful Splinter. Oh. 
And then we got Kick-Ass Splinter. <laughs> That's what I'll call him from here on out. All right, so those are the characters. Like I said, there's a, there's a lot of characters to pick from, so you really shouldn't have a problem finding one that you like. Um, and then for these, these are actually all the action cards that come with the game. Now, like I said, you'll notice that in the character cards, it's more of the kind of... Um, it's less the cartoon art. It's more the comic art, various other things. This one, though, for the action cards, it's actually cartoon. It mixes it up because there's still there's still comic cards in there. But you'll notice in that one, right was Cowabunga. We got Enraged. It's kind of cool. Uh, give me a break. And you'll notice that one is about as close to the newer style as, as it gets. And then, of course, we got this one. Heroes in Half Shell. Classic cartoon. Lethal Blow. This is probably my favorite one. It's pizza. <laughs> Partially because I'm, well, partial to pizza. I like pizza. Uh, Reckless Abandon. Special Delivery. Ironically, I think of a bad boy song when I think of Special Delivery with Ghostface. Does anyone else remember that song? <laughs> Special delivery. No, it's not. I'm not going to start. <laughs> Idiot. Turtle Van. <laughs> Turtle Van. All right. So you've seen the cards. Uh, you've seen the dice. Um, one of the other cool things about the game is that, of Dice Masters in general, is that they actually reward if you play with teams that are already formed. So for turtles, it's very simple. It's actually just split. There's only two teams. It's either you're a friend of the turtles or you're a villain. That's <laughs> pretty down the line because they're not really multiple. They don't have enough characters to be multiple factions yet. You know, there are other factions that come later on in the cartoons and the various, you know, uh, iterations of the characters. But for now, there's not really. So it kind of makes sense. In other ones, though, there are cards that will be like, for example, it'll be like Avengers team, or they'd be an X-Men team or whatever, and you have Hydra or whatever. So you have these teams and you get bonuses for having multiple members of that team. What's cool is for Turtles, um, if you've got another Turtle on the field, um, you can actually, you get, like, it's cheaper to then buy another character die of a turtle if you already have a turtle. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I, I kind of like that. Uh, and also like that pizza card, for instance. Um, cards like this, let's take a look at that. Um, you gain one life. You may not use this basic action die if you have 15 or more life. A global effect on that, which we talked about earlier, was if you pay a shield, which is a type of energy, if you pay a shield once during your turn, if you have less than 10 life, gain one, right? So it's just kind of a, it, it's a great, and at one, it costs one. <laughs> this is a great card to grab at the beginning of the game, especially when you're, you know, just trying to, trying to buff up a little bit and trying to get some other characters. It's great to have that. Get a little extra life. So, and the demo game that comes packed in here um, only, you know, has you playing up to 10 life anyway. So that's a great bonus there. Um, and there's a whole, it actually, what's great about the Dice Masters books, I'll give them credit. For new players, it works out really well. They actually go through an entire, aside from just like the core rules and everything, they give you all the terminology. And then they go in and they actually do an entire run through of a game, right? So it was like a whole demo game and they go, okay, it's your turn. All right, so here's what you would do in this situation. Here's these. And it, I mean, it's like a four page, five page deal, right? So it's, I gotta say for, for new players, this is a very welcoming series. Um, it does take a couple of tries to really get a handle on attacking, uh, attacking and defending, but mostly attacking kind of is the most confusing aspect of Dice Masters. But again, the they do a very good job of trying to smooth that process out as much as possible. So after two games, you'll have it down the path pretty much. Um, and it's fun. It's fun to roll dice instead of just doing cards. I like that there is a card presence. So overall, I'm, I'm very happy with this set. The set is, you know, fantastic. And if you're a Turtles fan of any type, whether it's the cartoon, whether it's the action figures, whether it's the movies, the new ones, whatever, you're still going to have a lot to love in this set. So if you're looking for a game to play with a couple of friends and you love Turtles, you really can't do much better than this. So 
Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and post uh, photos in the gallery, so make sure to check them out. But Matt for comicbook.com, and we'll catch you next time.